I can feel it somewhere inside haunting like a drug I keep on wanting there's a love that fits so perfect it's hard to believe there's a reason I can feel my heart stop beating and the air gets tough just breathing I'm alone but I'm still feeling like someone's with me it's strange Good morning, clearly. <laughs> I thought I would finish off this video after you swatched my stretching routine and show you what I eat in a long workout day, which is today. So today I have a four hour bike ride. I'll probably be hitting my full distance for the race today, which is 56 miles. I just woke up. It, well, I didn't just wake up. I woke up at 6.30. It's seven right now. I haven't eaten anything yet. So we're gonna get started by downing like a huge cup of water. And the name of the game today, or this morning before the workout, is carbs, carbs, and more carbs. I'm gonna start with a big bowl of steel cut oats with an apple in it. Oh, last apple, last apple. It's mine. No. It's mine. <laughs> and then I'm probably gonna have a bagel. Hopefully if I have a bagel still. Uh, are there bagels in here? Bagels are gone. Okay, English muffin instead. So the bagel has 250 calories and the English muffin only has 130, so I'll probably have two English muffins. Breakfast, I'm hoping to hit like at least 500 calories and a whole lot of carbs. So let me get that all uh, ready. Breakfast, tons of cinnamon, because I like it that way, and one cut up jazz apple. It's 10.35. Uh. Yep, 10.35, <laughs> and it's 35 degrees outside, so we're getting there, we're getting there. We're moving in the right direction, but just we're just not there yet. Uh, I'm starving again, so I'm gonna eat right now, and I'm gonna have like a, a lunch kind of full meal. So I'm gonna do this huge tortilla with some refried beans, some chicken, and some Mexican rice that I made yesterday with some cheese. I'm gonna grill it. So I'm basically making a grilled stuffed burrito. I'm gonna dip it in some sour cream and we're just gonna call it like a full meal. And then on the ride, hopefully I'll be leaving for the ride in about 30 minutes or so. So, oh man, 11 o'clock. I can't believe that's so dumb. I had to wait for 11 o'clock for it to be warm enough to ride my bike. I'm so ready for spring Idaho. This is so ridiculous. It's April 12th and it's it was 25 degrees this morning outside. It's a good thing I didn't plant anything yet. But I'm wearing a total like fleece lined top, fleece lined pants, all gloves, ear warmers, the whole thing. On my bike ride, I am gonna be taking this in my water bottle. So this is just a drink mix. This whole packet is 110 calories. A chia bar, because I really like these. And I'm gonna try out these, what are they? There's a sticker on it, glucose with a K energy gummies. So all together on the ride, I'll have 120, 300 calories on the ride, plus probably 500 that I'm eating right now. And then when I get back, I'm gonna eat again. I will probably burn on the bike ride 1,600 to 2,000 calories on the bike ride. So when I get back, I'm going to be starving. And that's just kind of always the way it goes. I could bring one more. I think I'll be okay with this. And with these, I should be okay. I'm gonna mix up this you can right now. Uh, I found another brand 
I might try. I'm basically trying all of the brands until I find something that works for me. So I'm doing the You Can right now. It'll be linked in my Amazon store below under triathlon gear or supplements or something like that. And then I'm gonna also be buying one called Tailwind. It has more calories per serving and see which one I like better. I don't think I love the coconut water that I had gotten because it feels like Gatorade does in my mouth when I'm riding. It makes me thirstier um, and I don't really like that. There, you see how powdery that is? Weird, right? Yes. So excited. Well, I totally killed that grilled stuffed burrito. It was so good. And just to get a few more calories in before I start, just to make sure I'm not hungry, I'm gonna eat a couple of these uh, Hawaiian chocolates my sister-in-law brought back from Hawaii when they just went a couple weeks ago. These are, here we go. Here we go, those three pieces are 210 calories. These are really delicious. So I'm gonna eat three of these, they're super tiny. It's a lot of calories for how small they are. So they won't like bulk up my stomach, but I'll still have the energy from them, which is kind of the point. So I'm gonna dig three out of here, eat these 200 calories, and then we're gonna head out. It is 10.57, so hopefully we'll be out the door in the next 10 minutes. Just got back from my ride. I rode 65 miles in a touch over four hours, and I did the full amount of elevation climb in the race, so that's really good. I might need to get my bike fitted. I'm feeling a lot of pain like on the back of my neck from like my positioning, my upper body positioning, so I gotta look into that. But for dinner, oh, and I did not eat the chia bar, but I ate everything else. So for dinner, I'm making this Parmesan and herb mix with chicken, and then some vegetables on the side. I haven't, coating the chicken, I'm gonna stick it in the oven while I take a shower. We'll have like, we'll have some bread on the side or something. Perhaps Dave and I will go out for a dessert later. I don't know yet. I'm pretty tired, so we'll see how I feel. Okay, here's my dinner, and Haley didn't give me any bread. Okay, there's one slice of bread, so I'm gonna eat that piece of bread. And I also wanted to mention, I drank this Recoverite recovery drink. This was actually really good. Super mild, 170 calories, some protein, a lot of... Uh, BCAA stuff that's supposed to be good for you. So we'll see how I feel tomorrow. My neighbor made these coconut lime cookie bars and I may have eaten like four of them. So just wanted to, you know, make sure that was clear. It's 8 p.m. I haven't eaten in two hours. Is that right? The hunger is real, you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna have, I found these in the freezer. I'm gonna have some of these Albertsons brand pizza rolls probably two servings worth, I would imagine. And then I'm gonna finish up with some ice cream, which is me and Dave's date night for the day, but instead of going out, we actually just bought tubs of ice cream, which I consider entertainment and not grocery budget because it was like treat for us, right? Even though I already had those lime cookies, it's all, it's all good, guys, it's all good. I'm just adding everything up to see how many calories I'm at for the day. Mint cookies and cream, ice cream. Add that and we'll do half a cup, please. So I'm finishing the day at 2,872 calories for the day. Keep in mind, I did ride my bike for four hours and 15 minutes today. I have 373 grams of carbs, 108 grams of fat, and 103 grams of protein. And that's gonna finish me out for the day. I've got a 10 mile run tomorrow. 